there. I can't see you. Your most ardent admirer, fair maid. Uh-huh. And have you got a name? What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would... would still be a flower, wouldn't it? Start. How? What are you saying? I can't hear you. Gentle night, why linger on? I yearn thus for my love so long. Without her words to still my breast, who shall set my soul to rest? Gentle knight, why linger on? I earned this from my love so long. Whip out your worthy silky breasts. Who shall suck my salty bits? No! And now my heart in sorrow dwells from melancholic pining swells, since I, alas, was forced to part from the mistress of my heart. I know my horses sort of well, some alcohol from nine to twelve. Seems I always have whores apart from the mistress of my heart. Psst. What on earth are you saying? What's that hissing? It's a, a feral goose here in the bushes. I shall love you then, my dear, as long as you lie with me here. If you'll not give your all to me, no longer shall I bide with thee. I shall let you drink my beer, as long as you, uh, buy one for me. If you'll not give your ale to me, no longer shall I buy for thee. Jesus, Henry, what kind of yokel nonsense are you babbling? Me? You're the one who's babbling? You're an odd one. I've never heard such peculiar poetry in my life. Where on earth did you come up with it? It's, it's the latest fashion in France. You've done enough harm. Better shut up and leave it to me. How did you like it, dearest? Ah, how tender you are. Father is coming! Hide! Did you hear what he said? Yeah. Well, I have a bad feeling about this, Hans. I think we should. Are you still there? Still here, my love. How could I ever part from you? Father's coming. He'll kill you. He will not. Because it'll never cross his mind where I'll be. Henry, it's time for me to claim my prize. Whatever happens, cover my back. There you are, you seducer. Now you'll see how a butcher protects his daughter's honor. Buy me time. You got some explaining to do, you bastard. What are you after, you bastard, sneaking around an honest citizen's house in the dark? I went to mourn over the grave of my great-grandmother. Oh, yeah. Then what are you doing right beneath my window, eh? Now, the question is, why are you trampling on great-granny's grave, eh? Enough of your horse shit. One more word, and I'll have you. <laughs> you really came. How could I not, my dearest? <laughs> not so fast, Prince Charming. But, since you're here... Hey, what was that? What was what? That noise. I'm sure I heard a strange noise. We're here in the cemetery. Maybe restless spirits, what do you reckon? I'd swear it came from the window of my own house. Well, what's that got to do with me? Someone's been creeping around after my daughter. I come out and I find you here. Quite a coincidence, eh? So, out with the truth. You're quite mistaken. I've never laid eyes on your daughter. And if she looks anything like you, I'd rather keep it that way. Why, you fucking... Don't try to make a fool of me. I heard it clearly. What was that? Are you all right? It seems to me you're hearing things other folk can't hear. That's not good. You're saying I'm hearing voices in my head? Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. 
Sent Euphrosina Polotsk heard voices too, and she found in a monastery and churches and things. I heard voices too. Uh, well, could have been voices. I wouldn't swear to it though. Look, fellas, I was standing right here and I didn't hear a thing. Do you take me for a madman? Whatever you are, I want to know what you're doing under my daughter's window and who was talking to her. I heard it clear as day. Good neighbour, it can't be denied that old age dulls a man's ears. I'm here alone, praying for the souls of the good people resting in the cemetery. I've nothing to do with your daughter. Hmm, that voice sounded different to yours, though. But where did he get to? You must have seen him. Unless, unless you're covering for him. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Uh, yes. What the fuck are you playing at? My patience is wearing thin. Jesus, stop your damn screeching. Jesu, Jesu, Maria, vola, la, vola, la. Jesu, Jesu, Maria, Jesu, Yemine. Buddha, little hapet, nebone. Buddha, little hapet, nebone. Christ Almighty. Let's go, fellas. This one ain't right in the head. The guards will have him for screeching after curfew. Let's not get mixed up in it. But if I ever see you here again. I'll beat some sense into your idiot skull. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? How did it go with Carolina Sands? Henry, it was the most wonderful night of my life. She was completely entranced by my courting. I hardly had to touch her, and she melted in my arms. And then she took me to paradise. It was glorious. It was sublime, thanks in part to you, my faithful henchman and messenger of love. You've earned your reward. It was an honour, Sir Hans. When are you going to see her again? Oh, I'm not going to see her again. All beautiful things must come to an end, and, after all, I am a nobleman, and she is the butcher's daughter. Well, that's how it ends, with the love of your life. After the secret gifts, the letters, the intrigues, reciting poetry in the moonlight? My eloquence was wasted on her, Henry. Imagine, the silly cow couldn't even read. She returned the letter to me unopened. Here's the letter, Henry. Read it. At least you're capable of appreciating my literary talent. Read and learn from a poet. See you later. Well, that's another video in the books. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put some links on the screen here to help you subscribe and maybe see another video. But in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.